the steam age does live on across the world. And in 1987, in nearby Spain, we found three superb locomotives working in a colliery yard. And it was fabulous to watch them. All three were different, and they provided that elusive air of the authentic. Locomotives doing the job for which they were really built, for which there is no compare. One of the three was a lost survivor from the legendary Manchester builder of Sharp Stewart, and she was 102 years old and was almost identical, not and bolt, with the day that she was built on Great Bridgewater Street in the centre of Manchester in 1885. One of the biggest problems that I have is of credibility. Being accepted as a professional by the men that run the locomotives. It, it's very easy for them to assume that I'm an itinerant tourist that has taken a passing fancy to their curious old steam trains. But when I explain to them with conviction that, look, this is the only locomotive of its type in the world, or it's the last example from a famous builder or whatever. And they say, but we thought this was just normal. We thought it was common. When they appreciate that it isn't, and they understand the significance of the engines that they're running, then almost without exception, anywhere in the world, they will cooperate, they'll enter into the spirit of my work and provide the vital cooperation that's so necessary if I'm to make pictures of some